Good morning. So we're on day seven. Um, we've travelled up from uh, Senan Cove today to um, St Ives Bay and we're stopping on the rugby football pitch. Um, basically we can stay here overnight. Um, it's cost £7 for the day and another £7 for tonight. Uh, we're the only ones in here at the minute. Um, it's quite a big park up and if I just spin you around um, that's the actual main car park area and you can see St Ives Bay in the distance so we're going to go uh, walk down into the bay now and uh, see what's all, what it's all about apparently it's 10 to 15 minutes walk downhill so we'll let you know in a bit it'll kill us on the way back what was that Alison? it'll kill us on the way back yeah I'm sure it will see you in a bit bye bye Thanks. Well, that's one hell of a walk down, I'd say about a mile, and it's it's steep. You can probably see how steep it is looking behind, but I hope it's worth it because uh, we're nearly at the beach. I'll, uh, I'll show you. Don't get used to it. No, I shouldn't like to be here when it snows. Got no chance. <laughs> I don't even suppose they have any snow down here. Oh, here we go. Here's the beach. That's St Ives Bay. This here is Porth Gwydon Beach in St Ives. Just a small beach. And if you look in the distance, you can see the whole of St Ives Bay. It just goes for miles and miles and miles. This is St Ives main beach, it's certainly worth the trip down here, that's for sure. So apparently this is called Crab Rock. I have never ever seen so many dead crabs in my life and they are big. They're absolutely everywhere. I'll just show you. The seagulls are having an absolute whale of a time. Look at them, right in the distance, absolutely everywhere, all over the beach. I'm not sure if this is a usual occurrence, but um, it's certainly today. So today we're arriving, I think it's on day nine, we're at uh, Rock and we're going to take the ferry over to Padstow which is uh, over this direction. Um, it's looking a bit choppy, it's £3 each way and uh, should be a little bit of fun. Alison are you looking forward to your trip over on the ferry? A bit choppy. <laughs> yeah it's a bit choppy. A bit choppy. We'll be fine. Yeah. Well, 
that wasn't too bad, was it? The breeze brings goosebumps to my skin Tonight the whiskey feels stronger So if you want to come to Padstow in this time of the year, in August, just expect all this lot. It's very, very, very busy. So I'd have thought the best way to get here is drive over to Rock, park up there for the day and then just grab the ferry over. Easy peasy. This is uh, Trabawi uh, Strand and this is an amazing place. Let's just show you around here. And we've just eaten in the restaurant just there at the top. So today is day nine in Cornwall and we've just arrived in uh, Wadebridge. Um, I'm just next to this place called the Regal, North Cornwall's iconic cinema. It's been here since 1931. I'll just show you that. So, cool. um, yeah. can't believe it's been there so long. Um, Another good thing about uh, Waybridge is this is where the camel trail goes through the middle of. So you can take the camel trail from uh, Padstow right through uh, Waybridge and then on to uh, Bodmin. So that's a pretty long cycle. I did it when I was younger with the kids but I'm uh, not quite sure I'm fit enough now. <laughs> Unless I've got my electric bike that is. Anyway, catch you all later. Bye bye. So where are you taking me tonight, Alison? Um, the venue. Yeah, what for? <laughs> Some food and a bit of bingo. Bloody bingo. <laughs> and I've even got him his own pen. <laughs> Here's the venue. I've got some tartar sauce, I'm going to put this tartar sauce. Yeah. Having chips at all, I'm blind, you know. Chips again, yeah, chips again. But these eight are thick, are they? Jerome, Lauren, yeah, there you go. Two planes on two planes. 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 Two
you are. I'll buy you another drink. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, show is right. Come on, we can do this. I got my inheritance on the legal thing. So today is uh, day ten of our Cornwall trip, and. Uh, We've decided to come down to a place called Port Isaac where they film uh, Doc Martin. Um, this is the actual uh, harbour itself, just behind me. And just up there on the top is where uh, Doc Martin, Martin Clunes, has his surgery. Oh, and somewhere up behind me, not quite sure what her name is, but it's his wife. Uh, she works at the school there. Um, I've also just been told that something else was filmed there. What was that, Alison? Pole dark somewhere. Pole dark, yeah. Um, so that's a new one to us. Uh, anyway, we're going to have a waltz round. Catch you in a little while. Bye bye. Bye. And this here is the actual famous Doc's house. Apparently it's just been filmed here and apparently it's the last one of the, uh, the whole complete lot so maybe we won't see it again. Well that was Port Isaac. Now the walk back up. Here's something I just noticed. Somebody's drive, I haven't got much space. And this here does a 360, turns you around and sends you back out again. Arriving at PL34, 0BQ, on the left. Good afternoon. So we've just uh, reached our next uh, location, uh, a place called Trevery, or Trevevi. Not quite sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, uh, it's just up the coast from uh, Tintagel, um, and it's a caravan and motorhome club site. It was £37 for the night. We're just having the one night here. Move on tomorrow. But, if you can see behind me, that's where the vans are all parked. And you look at this for a view. Oh my God, this is breathtaking. Look at that. So we're not quite sure. I might not get back up. Yeah, we might not <laughs> get back up. We're not quite sure how far it is down, but it's a bit of a trek. Um, but we're gonna give it a go. Maybe finally get the bloody drone up in the air. Oh, look at that. You just didn't think things would get any better. Say again, Ali. Is that a cow on the top of that rock? Yeah, that's definitely a cow. <laughs> if you can see that over there, there's cows on the top of the rocks. Rock cows, apparently. Anyway, we'll catch you when we get nearer the bottom. See you in a bit. Bye bye. Absolute more breathtaking views as we've come down the side of the uh, the mountain. It looks like. Right, have a look at this one. Not quite sure you can spot it, but there's a a cow that's fell off the top of the rocks and uh, fell down into the river and hurt its head. By the looks of things, poor thing. What do 
what do you think of this place then, Al? Beautiful, but windy, and I, I fell over once. <laughs> yeah, Alison's not, not very good. I'm not going to end up like that cow. <laughs> She's not very good on her own two feet. If, uh, if you know her, you know. You know. This is one rocky um, coastal path. Good afternoon. Well, that's it. It's all over. Tour of Cornwall all finished and done. And we're now on the M5 on the way home and look at this traffic. This is just typical of Cornwall in this time of the year. Anyway, um, I think we've got about another 150 odd miles to go. And uh, it'll be just get home, clean the van out then back to work next week so um, we've enjoyed taking you around Cornwall um, hopefully we'll have a new trip uh, in the not too um, future not too future is that English distant future distant future that's the one and uh, we'll see you all later bye bye I keep forgetting, can't get used to this uh, YouTube lark, but basically, if you like what you see, please subscribe, ring the bell if you want any future uh, videos showing, um, leave a comment or just like, whatever suits you. Anyway, catch you again, bye bye.